Hi everybody, this is Joel, and today I'm paying a visit to Winter Street Studios on Winter Street, uh, which is part of Houston's Art District, uh, roughly extending from I-10 down to the Washington Corridor. Now this is the uh, cool and artsy part of the Washington Corridor, not the <laughs> clubby type, uh, where you're going to find some wonderful artist studios and small galleries just waiting to be discovered. Um, I'm paying a visit to Space Taker. If you're not familiar with Space Taker, it is a wonderful organization that uh, really helps uh, artists of all disciplines and genres kind of get a head start in their careers. Um, and in their artists Resource Center, they always host exhibition uh, exhibitions uh, by local artists. So I am visiting today um, and I'm going to experience the works of Monica Villarreal, who uh, just installed uh, what she calls the Texas Red Road Project. I know nothing about a red road, uh, so I'm really curious to find out more. The Red Road is uh, the people of the Red. It comes from the Medicine Well. Um, and the Medicine Well is actually um, a symbol or a guide um, that the Lakota go by. And it's, uh, it's a circle with um, a cross in the middle, which is really um, it symbolizes the four directions, which is the four directions that we have in order to make decisions or the four directions that we can go to. Um, and within that circle and those four directions, there are actually colors. There's the white color, there's yellow, red, and black. And those are the colors of the people, which is all of us. Um, and there's another phrase that is called metakyati, and that uh, is actually means uh, all my relations, which is everyone within that circle. It is very evident from looking at Monica's works that she's very interested in portraying her subjects in a very respectful and very honorable manner. Um, and with most of them having a wonderful sense of narrative, I wonder if I can bother Monica to let me in on who these people are. I took a picture, a portrait picture pretty much, of my, my, my teacher, my dance teacher. He teaches me dance. Um, and he's from Mexico. He's from Mexico City. But he's been coming to Texas uh, actually into Dallas for about 10 years already. This is the first year he's actually came to Houston. And for the whole year, he actually, um, most of the year, he stayed with me. He stayed at my house. I, we learned uh, different things of like how to make certain crafts, uh, dance. Um, we actually, a uh, few of us end up creating a group with his help. And this is actually a very important person for me because uh, I feel that he was the first person that actually dedicated enough time to, to me and to the group of people that are, are here to actually do it properly, to do these traditions, to follow these traditions properly, to dance in a, in, in a good way. And so um, this picture is actually very special to me. It's known that a lot of these atuendos, which is the traje that he's wearing, they, back, in, back, back before the Spaniards came pre-Hispanically, they, uh, they were made out of gold and precious stones and things like that. So he tries to simulate, a lot of our advisors try to simulate gold and stones and colors and things like that. And so this picture really portrays him very well because it's sort of kind of that color. It's gold and it's shiny and um, that's his, his usual pose whenever someone wants to take a picture of him. He never wants to look at, a, at the camera. So it, I think it's really good. It goes really well with, with his personality. I am very thankful to Monica for revealing to me a side of Texas culture that's rich and fascinating, which most of us just don't know about. Uh, so if you want to uh, see her works, they're going to be on display as Space Taker until November 13th. Don't miss it.